Wow. I've seen this so many times on TV and in pictures and videos and it's like it doesn't do it justice. Okay, so we are now walking over to, this is like the villa side of where they have the DVC building here at Grand Flow. And we're gonna go over and walk to the wedding pavilion. Now walk into the Franx bridal studio, which I've never been inside of. I've heard people say, and I've seen videos of it before that the pavilion itself, like the wedding pavilion, if nobody's in it, you can sometimes just walk in and go around and like tour it basically. So I would love to, I've never been able to do that. I would love to walk inside there. That would be magical. So here we are at the front entrance of the villa side, the Grand Floridian Villas. Here it is, Frank Studio. They have a limo out front. Okay, let's just go up and see. I don't know if we can just come in. There's the pavilion. Oh my goodness, it's magical. The gates are open, so that's when they usually say you can go in and like look around. Oh yeah, <laughs> we're free to walk around, whatever. Thank you. This Can we just so like pretty. tour it? And... Yeah, yeah, for sure. We have um, some books on the table. The biggest ones are our new offering. Crystals, can you see that?
the names of the rooms is flora and fauna oh <laughs> there's some of the planning rooms Oh my gosh. I can't even believe that just happened. There's the couple that just got married. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, so that was, we were in Bronx Studio. We just got to walk around and they were just so nice about it. They were like, yeah, just explore, look at everything. Really amazing. So now we've come over, we're gonna go check out the spa. Also the other thing was that she said, we can go in and walk around the wedding pavilion. They have it open for people to explore. Um, currently though, someone was getting married in that little clip back there. That was the couple that like, they just got married a couple moments ago and now they are exiting and they were taking pictures on the little bridge and then we'd seen some of the guests got in a limo and I guess they're going to the um, reception currently. Oh my gosh, that's so exciting to think about that. Like right now. Somebody just got married. That's really exciting to think about. So yeah, she was saying that once they're kind of like all done in there, we can then come in to the wedding pavilion and walk around, which I've never done before. I've never been in there, always dreamed about it. So hopefully we can get to go do that after we tour the spa here quick. this there's two turkeys two of them walk around here and then there's also these little birds grand floridian wildlife just a bunch of turkeys living their best grand life look at them go oh and the little baby cranes and the turkey i'm gonna come say hi hi guys look at you hello babies you're beautiful i've never been this close to a turkey in all my life. Oh my gosh. Huh? Oh, they're making noise. You're both so cute. Oh my goodness. This is so exciting. Wow. I've seen this in pictures so many times, but it's it doesn't just, do yeah, it really doesn't. actually seeing it right now, it's it's so big. <laughs> My goodness. And just how you do get, it's perfectly placed it's with perfect. the castle yeah. and, oh my I love it. I love it so much. Look at that. It's so sparkly. And the way you can see the castle just so perfectly right through there. Yeah, just seeing this so many times in pictures, but actually being right here. Oh. There's a crane. Oh, this goes out to, is that where you take pictures? Oh, yeah. picture point it's, it's even called. Close. It's just open today because the ceremony is out there. Um, oh, okay. And sometimes we'll try to carry the music out through there. Oh, so they got married outside. Mm -hmm. They didn't get married yeah, in here. Yeah, oh, I didn't realize that was an option. Which also has a beautiful view of the castle. Yeah. Okay, so we are currently inside the wedding pavilion. 
she just said that we can walk around for as long as we want and take pictures and video and wow so we went back to the Bronx pavilion and we asked if it was okay if the coast was clear that we could come take a look and they said they came and checked with us and they said yeah go ahead it really is like when we turned the corner like when we walked in here i was just like i've seen this so many times on tv and in pictures and videos and it's like it doesn't do it justice when i didn't think it was gonna be like so tall and just it's the grandeur of being here in person so she was saying that actually the couple that was getting married here they didn't get married like in here so i was thinking about that i was like this really quickly got like mm -hmm. torn down and everything like if they would have had flowers and stuff in here but no she said they got married out at picture point which is right out here oh yeah look the chairs are still up so they got married right out here so picture point is where you'd come to then take your pictures and everything but you can also she said it's perfect for smaller ceremonies you can get married out here and look that crane came to the wedding that bird this is amazing this is very intimate out here and just i love that you're out with the view the polynesian and everything and you can have the chairs here on the lawn oh this is very special and then to come and take pictures hi were you a part of the wedding how was it <laughs> And there's the castle right through there. Mm. It's beautiful. I know they have the boat launch down there. I believe you can arrive by boat or have like a grand exit by boat if you want to. I've never been this close to, I've never, I mean, I'm actually, I'm here. I am inside the wedding pavilion. I don't want to leave, I just want to stay in here. <laughs> rooms okay that's cast member only oh my gosh this is so gorgeous mirror what is this wait is this the it is it's the groom's room did you see that oh my gosh amazing Wait, and what is, oh, that's just restrooms for your guests. Down that way, there's a little seating area. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at the bell. This is the bridal suite. Oh my gosh. Look at this. No way. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> look at this. Yeah, look at the bathroom. <gasps> yeah, the lights just came on. It was like they were magic. <laughs> mm. This is stunning. Oh my gosh. Look at it. Here, what's around this way? Is this another restaurant? Yes, there's a second restroom on this side. Ah, lights came on. So pretty. 
Look, it's doves. Did you see that? I didn't even notice that at first. You have to look at it at the right angle, and there's like little floating doves. What? Oh. I love it so much. Oh my gosh. So then this is your walk from the bridal suite getting ready over to those are the doors to the pavilion where we just were. Mm. And walk right across. <laughs> oh my gosh, look. <laughs> and enter right inside the pavilion. <laughs> so pretty, and this is the view over to Polynesian. Oh my gosh. I can't even believe that this happened today. We got to actually tour the pavilion. I can't believe it. Oh my goodness, look. Oh, there goes a monorail. It's so magical. Mm. There's the wind. It's gotta be sitting on a rock. It is a bird. That was the one who was up on top of the um, oh. arches there. Here is the beautiful Grand Fleur Name Marina. We're also just like over at Polynesian and a lot of these Magic Kingdom resorts, you can rent the pontoon boats. You can even also here rent that Grand One yacht down there. There's a little lizard in this light. Yeah, he's keeping warm with the light. Hey, cutie. That's the second one today that I've seen like hiding somewhere because they're probably, like you said, trying to keep warm. It's like just a little chilly today. We've taken off our jackets though. We just need our like long sleeve shirt. And it's of course still flip flop weather. Another amazing restaurant here at the Grand Floridian. This is my purse in, oh yeah, that's the size. That will be my next purchase. Yeah, so I haven't been in here since the renovation because they made the Beauty and the Beast lounge upstairs, the Enchanted Rose, they took over the men's shop. They've combined, this is now like men and women's in here. It used to be summer lace and just be women, but now it's like the men and the women. So it is 
really, really nice. I like the renovation. I like what they did with the color scheme in here. It's pretty. So that seems like it's the men's section and all this is still the ladies in here. great shop is the M Mouse Mercantile. They have all of your classic Disney things. that they're doing all this construction, you're soon gonna be able to walk from Grand Floridian straight to Magic Kingdom Park, which makes me very happy. For years that I want to, and for a while I didn't realize that it cuts off at the lagoon there, and I didn't realize that. And I always said I'd love to someday walk like from Grand Floridian like to Magic Kingdom. I'm so happy that they're now making this bridge. The reason it has to be a swivel is because that canal there, they bring out the electric water pageant boats, like the big barges. So the bridge looks really cool. It's like kind of off to the side there, and I guess it's gonna like, whenever they have to bring the barges out, it will like close and not you can't walk on it but then you know whenever they only have to bring those out in the evening and once they're out I'm sure the bridge will be back in operation so it's gonna be really cool I'm excited about that <laughs> Somebody wanted to go for a swim. That was so cute. I just watched her swim all the way over and stand up. Hi, you are beautiful. 